Critical flow and choked flow are often used as similar terms, but depending on the engineering discipline, they can mean slightly different things. They can also seem confusing and overwhelming with formulas and in-depth explanations. In this video, we're going to give a simpler explanation of critical flow as it relates to control valves and the Kimray sizing calculator. Our goal is to clarify what it means to enter critical flow while sizing a valve. Flow always moves from higher pressure to lower pressure. If the pressure is the same on both sides of a valve, there is no flow. Without pressure difference, nothing moves. When pressure differs across a valve, the flow rate depends on that pressure difference. The greater the difference, the higher the flow rate. You can raise the flow by either increasing upstream pressure or lowering downstream pressure to a certain point. Critical flow is the maximum flow rate a valve can pass under given conditions. Once the limit is reached, lowering the downstream pressure further will not increase the flow. Critical flow occurs when downstream pressure is about half or less of upstream pressure. For example, if a valve has 1000 psi upstream and 500 psi downstream, the valve has reached critical flow. Reducing downstream pressure further won't change the flow rate. The terms are often used interchangeably, but here's the distinction. Critical flow is the general idea of a maximum flow limit. It applies to both gases and liquids. Choked flow is the specific case for gases where velocity at the narrowest point reaches Mach 1, or the speed of sound. Since gases are compressible, they reach sonic speeds at a restriction. Liquids don't normally do this, so true choked flow doesn't occur. Instead, liquids reach maximum flow rate due to cavitation or flashing, not Mach 1 speeds. For more on cavitation and flashing, check out our blog. While not technically identical, in valve sizing, the terms are used interchangeably and both have concerns to be aware of. In gas applications, the main concern is cooling from the Joule-Thomson effect. For example, a 100 psi drop causes about 6 to 8 degrees Fahrenheit of temperature drop. In liquid applications, the main concern is cavitation. This can damage the valve internals and increase the chances of water hammer. Temperature loss is also a concern with liquids because they could freeze and block flow. Let's look at how this shows up in the Kimray sizing calculator. With certain inputs, you may see a warning for critical flow. This doesn't mean that the valve is sized incorrectly. It's simply a warning that choke flow may occur based on the combination of flow rate, CV, and pressure differential. Decreasing downstream pressure will not increase flow rate once you're at critical flow. Increasing upstream pressure, however, can allow for greater flow rates. One last note, critical flow is not the same as critical flow factor. Critical flow is the flow limit condition. Critical flow factor is a value that describes how pressure recovers after its lowest point in a control valve. CF is used in flow calculations and is listed on each product's detail page. For more on critical flow factor, check out our video and blog. Reach out to Kimray Support if you have concerns or questions about how critical flow can affect your valve sizing.